Ginger on Wheels here reporting for duty. I had a feeling this might happen. The InMotion RS Midnight from Voro Motors is about to be dubbed the Range King in my eyes. And over the next 10 minutes, I'm going to show you why in this high speed range test video. If you have any interest in buying this scooter, you can support this type of work by clicking on the link below and using the code GOW MIDNIGHT during checkout for $200 off. You can almost feel it when you ride the thing. The motor's near silent. The voltage readout is so steady it almost seems like there's no voltage sag at all somehow. The new Raptor controllers from InMotion are indeed optimized for efficiency, but with this scooter, as we all know, you can push the settings up to max and this 72 volt powerhouse can throw out 100 amps of output power. That's around 8,400 watts of sine wave power right to the ground. Before now, us scooter riders have had to choose. Do you want something smaller and more efficient, or do you want a powerhouse that'll drink through your battery with a large mouth straw? Well, with the new InMotion RS Midnight, you can have your cake and eat it too. The conditions for this range test were very similar to the Cobble Wolf GTR range test that we saw on the channel just a few days ago. It was cold, it was around 45 degrees Fahrenheit, and that was probably the biggest factor impacting range, I'm sure. Cold weather can sap as much as 30% of the range from your battery right from the get-go. Not only because lithium batteries hate cold, but because cold air is actually a little more dense. It almost feels like riding into a headwind the whole time. FYI, it did rain on this ride and I can vouch for the IP water resistance rating that this scooter has. I was also heavier on this ride. I knew it would be a longer route, so I packed a lot of gear, arguably too much. I had a Red Bull, some snacks, my Bluetooth folding lock for PEDoutlet.com, some tools, an air pump, uh, spare filming equipment, batteries, flashlights, and strobes strapped to the outside of my backpack. Yeah, it was just a lot of stuff. When all was said and done, I probably weighed close to 240 pounds. I had 45 PSI and the 11 inch street tires, and something else that's important to note is that the road was wet in many places, which can increase the rolling resistance just a little bit more. Okay, without further ado, let's show you what the range test looks like, and you can get a good idea of how it feels to stand on an electric scooter that won't die for hours. Then we'll go over the numbers. Do I want to stay? If you thought you weren't made that way It's the choices we make We give and take And I know you will keep trying Said I think I know what you mean Pretty good for a dumb machine And you gave me that smile We stood there for a while that was when you woke me up All this time I didn't know I had my heart on standby That it is love that I am feeling inside What it means to be a human All this time I've been a now Telling me I just crash again I said I think I know what you
As you can see, this was a really long range test. And again, if you appreciate this type of work, then make sure to use the code GOWMIDNIGHT when you buy the scooter from Voro Motors website, then go load up on accessories from my online shop, PEVOutlet.com. Now I imagine many people are watching this video to compare the InMotion RS to the Cabo Wolf GTR, so something relevant that I noticed is that while the GTR will give it everything it has at lower voltages until the scooter dies, the RS will slowly ramp down the power output so the scooter goes slower and slower as the battery gets lower. With the GTR, a dead battery is sudden and it can be unexpected, but with the RS, it'll slowly decrease the top speed until you realize you're going 20 miles per hour at full throttle. For performance level riding on the track, this might not be the best thing, but for riding in real world scenarios, it's really useful because you can tell when you should start looking for a charging station before the scooter is actually dead without necessarily needing to monitor the battery voltage. But it's also important to keep in mind that the Wolf GTR range test was around 30 miles per hour with short bursts up to 40 maybe. In this cold weather extreme range test with the InMotion RS, the speeds were faster. I'd say probably three to five miles per hour faster on average over the course of the ride because I spent the last 40% of the battery at 35 miles per hour or plus. Since the duration of this range test brought me into rush hour traffic with angry drivers and lack of bike lanes to force me into the road, there were even some 40 mile per hour straight sections. As you can see, the InMotion RS smoked the GTR in terms of range. I rode the entire route that I did for the GTR range test, except I went all the way around the lake this time. And even then I had to double check my apps because I still had 40% battery left on the RS. While the RS does have a 12.5% larger battery than the GTR, I still was pretty shocked that it got 30% more range, especially when you take into account all the added stress of speed and cold and weight on this range test. Those Raptor controllers really are extremely efficient, which means, for now, the InMotion RS Midnight from Voro Motors is the range king of the scooters in my fleet. Thanks for watching everyone. Make sure to check out the link in the discount code in the description of the video, and I'll see you next time.